very accurate description of uh, Riska there. Thanks very much for that. Cool. Um, so, yeah, let's crack on. Go ahead. So, uh, the Daily Mail usually pumps out um, articles that are headed a bit like this. Don't like Jeremy Corbyn at the moment. They probably think he causes cancer or something. Um, basically, um, quite a while ago, uh, they would do this sort of thing about video games. And I'm a big gamer myself. This is the type of thing that they would absolutely hate. They would think that kids like myself, I was growing up with this, I would uh, go on a murderous rampage and kill everybody. And, uh, well, I'm not going to do that tonight, but, you know, maybe later on. <laughs> exactly, that's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. A bit awkward. So this is a Daily Mail comment. Get these evil games banned now. I remember back in the day when I'd have my grandchildren around to replay Snakes and Ladders. What on earth is happening to this country these days? Anyone who plays this filth needs to be watched by the police. There's a picture of uh, me on the weekend. <laughs> so, yeah, it's this stereotype that sort of hangs around with gamers, basically. And, um, yeah, you know, some of it is not very pretty. Um... Well, that guy is pretty fetching. But yeah, basically, games nowadays, they've got a bit of a better rep. We've got things like these games here. They're enjoying a bit of a um, good uh, scene sort of competitively. And people will play these games for quite a lot of cash indeed. I'm going to focus a bit on League of Legends in particular. So League of Legends, um, there's a picture there of the World Championship that was in Korea in 2014. And um, the prize pool there was for two million uh, United States dollars. And that is pretty impressive. Bit of pocket money there. I really would like. Um, so yeah, basically, League of Legends, you've got three lanes there. It's a five versus five game, and um, that's literally the objective. You have to get to the other person's base uh, and whilst twatting other people who are not on your team. Um, and uh, that's basically it. Uh, you have to kill people or kill monsters to get gold, to get better items, to kill them better. It's a bit like a sort of murderous capitalism simulator, to be honest. Um, <laughs> Um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's pretty fun. It, it encourages team play. Uh, these are fanatics, sort of like the number one EU team, uh, looking quite young there, but they're sort of really successful, um, enjoying a lot of uh, sort of fame at the moment, and um, yeah, sort of really successful. A lot of players would sort of recognise these guys. Um, but of course, when you play online, you also encounter yeah. teenagers, <laughs> and these teenagers they know a lot about your mums. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, yeah, play with some friends if you're going to do that, basically. Uh, Twitch. Twitch is a channel, basically, uh, that people go on to watch other people play games. And it sounds a bit far-fetched, but when you consider that uh, Amazon bought them for, was it, need, oh, £585 million, um, pounds, it's quite serious business. Um, gamers like, um, I've forgotten her name, I'm going to have to look at the bit here, Stacey Rebecca, um, she can't actually sort of work, um, go outdoors and workshop, but she uses this as an income instead. She's doing what she loves, and people donate to her channel and subscribe to her channel, and I think that's pretty awesome, actually. Uh, there's another example here, a guy called Trump, who sort of plays um, this game called Hearthstone at a competitive level, and again, he makes quite a bit of money out of it, just basically having people watch him and sort of learn how he plays and stuff. When I say Trump, I don't mean this guy. Guy. Um, this guy, he thinks that video game violence and glorification must be stopped, is creating monsters as opposed to, you know, giving everybody guns and just whatever. What a prick. Um, <laughs> But yeah, and there's other things, like uh, I forgot to put the name of the charity on here, but these guys have got special effect, and these help people who are un unable to play video games uh, for whatever physical reason they might have. Um, it's a good way that they say um, to sort of bring together families, and they also put together things like uh, gaming marathons, which is essentially a 24-hour gaming session to raise money. And uh, Macmillan have recently done this. I think they tried doing this last month, actually, according to their website. Um, and it's something that I would personally love to do, and I'll probably try doing um, next month. Um, and then we've got places like Meltdown in London, uh, basically a gaming bar. Uh, so people, gamers, you know, breaking a stereotype that they're just sort of sitting in their mother's basement, uh, will actually come out. Uh, they'll, you know, they'll watch games, they'll play some games, and they'll just have a good time, you know, with a drink and a pint in each other. This is in Goody Who. I went to one. Uh, this is a probably early this year um, and people just brought their laptops along uh, played some games against each other played for some prizes and had a pint and had a great time and I couldn't fault it enough this is um, Gfinity Arena which is essentially just a cinema with some booths and some computers checked in in London but it's the first of its kind in the UK and personally I would love to see some more come in here because it is such an up and coming thing at the moment especially in Europe but not so much in the UK and if you don't believe me uh, Charlie Brooker he's a big advocate for games and he said himself that if you don't play games 
games, you're not just missing out, you're willfully ignoring the most rapidly evolving creative medium in human history. So why not go for it? Um, there's my uh, details, and if you want to add me on Steam or if you want to just play whatever, uh, that's my username, Pug and Chips. I don't know why it's Pug and Chips. I thought it was funny. So whatever. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Woo! Mm.